Good afternoon, Investor Imers. My name is Chris Johnson. I'm the President and CEO here, and I want to welcome you to another Facebook Live presentation. Today, I'm joined by this gentleman over here, Chad Goodson with McGough Construction. Chad, if you want to introduce yourself and just tell a little bit about what your role is here with the project. Okay. My name is Chad Goodson. I'm the field superintendent for McGough Construction. Um, I'm kind of the full-time eyes and ears of the project. Um, just making sure uh, first time people come on the job, they have a safety orientation they go through and sign the book. And other than that, I just kind of make sure everything's operating smoothly, making sure everybody's getting along with each other and uh, keep the job flow. Now, as I understand it, you do not have any Norwegian ancestry in you, but would you have a name like Goodson? I think you said you're Swedish, maybe as well. Right? More, more Swedish. Okay. Yes. We're going to excuse you for that for today for the <laughs> Facebook Live presentation. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. But uh, so one of the things we wanted to talk about today was we're down in the flexible use space, and we we were in this space when we did one of our first Facebook Live presentations, and I thought it was important to talk a little bit about some of the mock-up process that goes on in this project. And uh, we're going to show you a couple different examples of that today. So one of them over here is right up here, you can see this uh, slat ceiling here. Maybe you could just tell our viewers a little bit about what's going on here. Yeah, the, this is a, a mock-up of the ceiling that's that will be um, all over in this uh, first floor ceiling space. It'll continue down and go into this oculus here um, and throughout this whole floor. So this mock-up is something that it's uh, important for us to kind of consider about you know, how does it look, but it's also probably important for the subcontractors yep. as well to like yep. where the plumbers and the electricians and all that have to fit in there. To too. Try to keep the, so everybody knows the height that they have to stay above for all the pipes. Yep. You no, know, that 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 are run, and you can see above us here that there is a ton of different piping and conduit and things like that that will be concealed uh, when all is said and done here. So, but then, so this is the mock-up. But then, if you come over here, here you can see a little segment that it, they're already starting to put in as well. So, and you can see some of the, I guess I would say, sort of the complex geometry of this of trying yep. to figure out how all this fits together. So. Yeah. So they come in and they set this metal grid first at the proper height. And it and it, it, it varies all through the, the first floor here. And uh, the, the wood that you see is a western red cedar. Um, that'll be finished finished product with uh, that attaches to the grid. And so that's another example, like with the mock-up, this was, I think, poplar or poplar, something like that. Yeah. So just a, it's a simpler type of way to do it, just to test out an idea before you really fully commit to it. So mm -hmm. the other thing that we're kind of gone from mock-up now to actual construction is right up here. And this is the construction of the Oculus space. And we've had a, sort of a, I guess I would say almost like a template that was up yep. there. Yep, they came the out and set, set the template. And that's what you what you see on this side. And as they start adding the metal studs here, then they'll tear out the temporary temporary part of the of the mock-up. Yep. So it's a guide for to help them in the construction process. So uh, one other thing to kind of talking with mocks mock-ups itself is you can see the floor down here, just a, a plain concrete floor. This is not what the finished floor is going to look like. Let's walk you back here behind just to show you. This is another example of a mock-up, sort of a mock-up in place, I guess maybe you would call it mm -hmm. in a way. Yep. So back in this area, this is a, this will be a connecting hallway through here. And you can see the floor, you can see the difference in the floor compared to out in the in the flex space here, what has happened is uh, it's been sort of ground down. Maybe you could explain that yeah. process a little yeah, bit. Yeah, they come in with the machine. Um, it it grinds like probably a, an eighth to three sixteenths of an inch off of the top, and then expose the exposes the aggregate in the 
in the concrete. Then they put a polish on it so it's all shiny, which this is not right now because it's dusty, but it'll be a shiny, a shiny polish when yep. it's complete. And the other part that's going to happen in our floor out here is it's not only going to be the aggregate, the other thing we're finalizing the details on is there's going to be a map of Norway in that floor as well. And so completing the outline of that. So I thought it was kind of useful today to just to talk about using this space to talk about a little bit about the mock-up process of how we've been using this throughout the pro project and how it's important for the Westerheim, the contractors, the architects, everybody to come to a good sense of agreement about where we want to go with some of the details of the project. It's a way of testing it out before you take the plunge. So, yep. Yep. well, thank you for the chance to visit about this yes. today, Chad. My pleasure. And uh, we will probably chat with you more down the road here okay. in one way or the other. So, um, I, so wanted, good. I wanted to say one other thing, and that is um, we're, uh, we're going to have more of these Facebook Lives coming up. Next week, we're going to actually go up to the second floor. We're going to talk about the exhibit space up there, and uh, we're probably going to talk to some of our staff uh, related to how we build our exhibits and that. Um, but I also just wanted to send a reminder as well to everybody that uh, Vestrime is still in the midst of our Strong Roots Bold Future campaign. We're going to be sending out a mailing here very shortly that includes, oops, there we go, includes some materials about the campaign as well, uh, some details about how you could take part in this as well. Um, and so with that, I wish everybody a happy Friday. Uh, thank you again, Chad, yep. for your time today. I know yep. you got a lot of work to do. Yeah. And uh, with that, Hadebra and have a good day.